shit. We overslept. <sighs> we shouldn't have pushed on that extra few miles, especially after a full moon. I don't know what I was thinking. I thought I would be fine. I didn't realize how much it took out of me. It's a good thing we had the cover of the trees and the safety of the cliffside to make sure we weren't surrounded or else. Sweetheart? They were sleeping right here, closer to the fire, while I slept at the opening of the trees. How could anyone- Shut the fuck up! You're wasting time! We have to find them now! They couldn't have been taken, Mutt. You would have sensed someone else coming for them. Unless they were lured out from us. After they were taken once before, for once, use common sense instead of bloodlust, dog. If you used bloodlust, we would have hunted down the rest of them who knew our secret, and we wouldn't have to be running and hiding like cowards. And leave them alone? You don't want them to see guts and gore. You don't want them to be away from us. Make up your fucking mind before I make it for you. Like hell are you going to? Sweetheart, where the hell were you? You should know better than to go off alone. Why didn't you wake me up? What if something bad happened to you? What do you have wrapped in your sweater? Apples? Ah, I see. You found us breakfast. Why didn't you wake me up? I could have helped you. You wanted to surprise me. <sighs> Sweetheart, you're lucky that you've had a rough week, or else I'd still be angry with you right now for running off on your own. Listen to me, all right? We have people after us. We have people after us that know that going after you is what will get to me. We have people after us that already got to you. They took you right from out of our home and made us abandon it and all we worked for. They know what they are doing. They know how to fuck with my sense of smell. They know the right way to use silver. They know that I would do anything for you even if it means throwing myself right in the middle of them. They know we're on the run, and I'm sure they've gone to every nearby town and alerted people of the both of us. You have to understand that they're going to use you. They're going to hurt you, or even worse, if they get their hands on you. They're going to do that if it means that it will give them the advantage over me. The only thing that is going to protect you is me. You are safest when you're with me. So you're not allowed to leave my side, understand? No matter how small it is. No matter how quick you think it'll be. No matter how close you think it is. You are not to be out of my sight. You are not to be out of grabbing distance from me. So please, behave for me, alright? Good. Now, let's eat. And keep moving. They're getting weaker. They can't just live off of fruits. They need more. Yeah. Let's just stop off at the forest market run by the fucking squirrels. I don't know what you want me to do. I can't leave them to hunt, now can I? They're able to sleep peacefully right now because they trust that we're going to be here to protect them. If we don't hunt soon and something happens, we won't have the strength to even tear a single finger off of someone. You need to get your head out of your ass and realize that you can't hide the sight of you for long. They're going to have to see us kill eventually. Not if I can help it. Rather it be on your own terms and they get used to it than have it be when things are getting uglier. What's a few deer than a slaughter of a town? You aren't going to slaughter a town. Like you can stop me. But they'll stop you. Unlike you, I can do things that they won't like if I know what's best for them. I'm done talking about this. We're going to bed. Sooner or later, you're going to learn the hard way, boy. Wolf, do you smell that?
It smells like a traveler in the wrong place in the wrong time. They have food. They're bound to have at least a few days' worth. I think we can convince them to spare some, don't you think? No blood spilled today, Mutt. From killer to petty thief. You were complaining last night we didn't have food. We'd have more if we just- Enough! We need to act fast before they wake up. We're leaving them? We're quicker than them. Not to mention, they have the trees to hide them. It's daylight. Fire is out. They don't need to know how we got the food. We can just say we found it nearby with them in our sight. You don't want to look like the bad guy, but you're lying to do it. You said that they shouldn't leave our side, and now we're leaving theirs. Do you want the food or not, Wolf? Fine, but make it quick before I change my mind about having human for breakfast. Sweetheart, I saw a bag that was left not too far from... No! You think a muzzle is going to stop me from tearing into you fuckers? Wait until I get my hands on you! We've got to hand it to them. They struck at the right moment. I'm starting to think that Traveler wasn't a coincidence. You lay a hand on them, and I'm going to! No! You get that knife away from their throat! You slit their throat, and I will go after every single person you love. Tear their hearts out right in front of you and shove it down your throats. And watch you choke and sputter on their blood, you hear me? You think killing them is going to give you an advantage? You think I'm going to lose my will and just let you do whatever you want? Not before I make you pay for everything you did. Your sleeves tore. You need to break through the silver, or it's going to burn right through us. Now the muzzle. Why is it always fucking silver? Just rip it off so I can sink my teeth into their face and tear it into their heads. I'm going to give you all to the count of three to run before I skin you all with the knife you threatened my mate with. Because by the looks of it, you don't think I would put myself through the pain of the silver. One. Two. Three. Let's go, Wolf. No holding back. My pleasure. You should have stayed where you are. You're shaking. I would hold you, but I don't want you to be covered in blood. I'm sorry you saw any of that. I'm sorry that you have to see the end of it. I'm sorry that you have to see me like this. I'm sorry for everything. Just yesterday, I was lecturing you about not leaving my side, and I left yours to go and steal for us. I didn't want you to see the bad of me, no matter how small it was compared to... This is why I always have you close your eyes and cover your ears. I don't want you to see me like a monster, like everyone else does. But the wolf was right. He's part of me. You belong to both of us. And I should have let you see the side of me on my own terms instead. This. I can see how hard you're trying not to look at the carnage. How brave you're being for me. You're so good, and I wish I could be good for you too, but I'm we aren't good. good. We're predators. Good. We're meant to kill. I'm sorry. I... <laughs> what was that for? Thank you. Thank you for what? I wouldn't have had to rescue you if I didn't leave in the first place. Yes. I know I still saved you, but... <sighs> the burns are nothing compared to what could have happened to you. I would take Silver to my entire body 
if it meant saving you. Your life is more precious than mine. The world would dim if someone as good as you left it. <sighs> I'm not going to argue with you over this, sweetheart. We need to keep moving. Let's wash off at the river we pass to the east, and we'll follow it wherever it takes us. Hmm? <laughs> No need to lecture me, sweetheart. I learned my lesson. I promise, I won't leave your side again. No matter what. No more hiding. I'll let you see all of me. I want you to love me too. We can settle down here for a few hours. Go see what's in that bag that I snagged while I wash off. We'll have to follow the river upstream. If we continue downstream with the amount of blood that's running through the water, it won't look good. I don't think I'll be able to get the stains out of these clothes easy. We're going to have to snag a new set of clothes along with some supplies and food when we reach the next town. What did they stuff the bag with? Good. That food should hold us over for a few days. Any other supplies or spare clothing? The blanket will do you good. The nights are going to start getting colder from here on out. We need to start preparing to continue like this. Hopefully the three that we took care of back there were the last of them. I hope no one is stupid enough to try to avenge them. Their attempt will be worthless. The burns. They're all right. We werewolves heal faster than you humans do. See? If they were regular burns, they would have cleared up by now. Since it's silver, it will take some time, just like the marks on my hands when I released you from your restraints. The cool water is helping ease any residual pain, though it's nothing I can't handle. Don't worry about me. Come here. Let me finally look at you and make sure you're alright. I promise, I'm going to find a way to get you a hot bath. Whether it's finding you an outdoor bath, a natural hot spring, or figuring out to warm the water myself. I'm sorry that you're in this with me. I wish I could give you a stable home like I promised, where you're warm and fed more than just fruits, and not sleeping on the forest floor with just the clothes on your back and a small fire. You deserve at least that, and I can't give it to you. Don't try to make me feel better, sweetheart. I deserve to feel like this. It pushes me to find a way to give you the best life I can. How about we freshen up together? I feel like the cool water will help you feel cleaner and more energized for the trek ahead. Undress for me. <laughs> <laughs> 